Hey guys, welcome back to the Teenagers to Experience YouTube channel. I'm Mel and today I'm going to be sharing what you should do when you see a person having a seizure because I suffer with non-epileptic seizures as you guys know and I thought it would be beneficial uh, to show you what you should do if you should if you see a person having a seizure. If you're walking across the road and you see someone on the other side of the road having a seizure, what should you do? What should you do? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> so number one, if a person is having a seizure for over five minutes, that is their first time. Because whenever, when I had my first time, I had my first time when I had my first time. When I had my first seizure, it was timed over five minutes because it was my first seizure. I didn't know I was going to have it. And I didn't know what my life was going to be be like after having that one seizure and it's been it's been a journey it's been a journey I'll tell you but whenever you see a person having a seizure make sure you time it make sure you make a note of the start time and then the finish time when they come out of it when you see a person make sure you run over to them and then make sure their head is stable make sure there's something nice under it if you're out, you're not going to be carrying a pillow around with you, are you? So maybe a, your coat, your jacket, whatever, just to make sure the head is stable. And just make sure you're there, reassuring them. They're not going to uh, regain constant consciousness like that. Honestly, it doesn't work like that. And don't crowd them because it will just make it ten times worse. Just make sure you're there, reassuring them who you are, where they are, where, what happened, and just bringing them back slowly. Don't force it all on them because it's just like you're running through a, a jungle and you're facing like different obstacles. You need to just reassure them one by one what their name is, who you are, where they are, and what happened. Make sure their tongue is out like that, like that, because they might swallow their tongue. Don't put your fingers down their throat because they will choke on that as well. Just make sure you line them on the side. Make sure their head is reassured and make sure they're breathing Just in and out, in and out. Make sure you're reassuring them who you are and then they should come around in about two or three minutes, something like that. So just make sure they are breathing nicely and calmly. Don't rush them. Just make sure they are doing what they can. And they're doing it their way, not anyone else's way. Don't make a big crowd around them. Just don't do any of that. They have got enough air just to breathe. <laughs> Number four. If they mentioned any weird tastes or weird smells or anything like that that you think is necessary to note down, note it down because you never know it could save someone's life. And when I first had my seizure in Stoke on Trent, I think it was, I think it was Stoke on Trent, I remember waking up on the platform and smelling beef burgers. And I'm a vegetarian and I didn't like that. <laughs> I did not like that at all, but I just remember smelling beef burgers. Now, I thought I was in McDonald's of some sort, and they and they just woke me up and said, "Look, we know your name's Mel, but you've just had a seizure." And I'm just like, "What? Eh? Well, what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Get me out of it. <laughs> just want to go home to my bed." <laughs> so yeah, make sure you note down every key factor that you think is important because you never know it may come in handy when to call 999 if it's their first time having a seizure then you have to call 999 because it's their first recording of the seizure and they gotta fill one of these mm, one of these beauties out the amount of paperwork that the nhs and the key workers have to fill out when you're having a seizure is madness absolute madness but the amount of copies i have of these is amazing but 
these are just to fill out like what's happened what's happened during the seizure so that's when you need to take the notes down and that's really important that's a really key factor so when to kill 999 is when they're first having a seizure if it's over five minutes and they they're known to have seizures but if it's over five minutes call 999 they're, you know you need to get emergency services out but if it's under five minutes preferably you don't need to you just need to wait for them to come back around that's what my parents do anyway because near enough i nearly have one each week each day nearly sometimes it just depends so yeah <laughs> so make sure you subscribe like and you share with your friends <laughs> i gotta stop doing that <laughs> I really can't stop doing that. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>